Hello there, welcome to DAP. My name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I want to share with you my online course launch strategy. Now, in the last few years, I have launched several courses, and I have a specific strategy that I use to build and launch my courses. Now, the strategy that I use might be a little bit different than what most people do, but the way I go about it has allowed me to quickly and easily create and deliver my courses without any stress and overwhelm. In this video, I'll share with you the exact sequence of steps that I follow for my course launch, from how I build my list to how I create my content and how I implement everything. I'm going to share everything end to end. Say that I have already validated my idea. I'm clear about what I want to teach and I know the problem that I want to solve with my course. Here are the steps that I follow. Number one, I create a course outline. An online course outline is made up of modules and lessons to help students go from where they are at to where they want to go. This way, when you are in the course content creation mode, you don't have to think about what next. You have already done that before you create the content. It just reduces the overwhelm because you know exactly what's next. And now you just have to build it based on the plan. The next thing I do is I record my sales video. Now, if it's a paid course, I record my sales video. If it's a free course, like my latest course, Let's Build an Online Course, it's a free course. In that case, I record the video that goes on the opt-in page, on the main opt-in page. So after I record the video, I upload it to YouTube. If it's a paid course, this video goes on my sales page. If it's a free course, this video goes on my opt-in page. The next step for a free course is to create an opt-in page and uh, publish the YouTube video on the opt-in page so people can learn about what the course is all about. And the main thing at this point, because I have not yet started creating the course content yet, uh, so I just let them know that this is the plan. Here's the table of content for this upcoming course. And by signing up, they will have access to the course content as it gets ready. So they don't have to wait until all of the course content is ready to access the course. And they can access the content as it gets ready. So when you see a lot of activity is happening, people are joining the course, it gives you just that extra motivation that you need to uh, now go and work on your course content. And one thing you should definitely do on your uh, opt-in page for your free course is do not use a static opt-in form. A static opt-in form is useless. It's not going to give you any insights about your audience. It's not going to tell you anything about your prospects. Instead of a static form, use a lead magnet quiz. Now, what is a lead magnet quiz? A lead magnet quiz is a simple uh, quiz which is built to collect information about your audience. It's like a survey where uh, you have a set of multiple choice questions. They answer those questions. You have a few open-ended questions uh, where they can type in their answer. And after a few questions towards the end, you have an opt-in form. And so instead of just an opt-in form, you are able to collect information about your prospects through a series of questions. And uh, then once they opt in, you're going to receive an email with their answers. For example, if you had a simple question in your quiz, what are your main challenges? What is it that you're struggling with? You're going to get so much information from your prospects and uh, so much insights into the problem and the pain points. It will actually help you create better content. So now, instead of just creating content that you think your audience needs and wants, you will be able to create your course content based on what your prospects actually want. What is it that they are struggling with? And also use the information that you get from your prospects as they answer the questions, because now you can use uh, messaging on your opt-in page that resonates with your audience, because now based on their response, based on what they are struggling with, you can let them know how your course or how your freebie will actually solve that problem for them. There are so many benefits of using a quiz funnel. So do not use a static form, whether you're trying to build a list for your free course or your paid course, be sure to use a lead magnet quiz where you ask a series of questions, learn a little bit about your audience before you show them the opt-in form. All right, so at this point, I have my opt-in page. I have the video that goes on the opt-in page. So I have that on the opt-in page where people will find out more about the course, who it is for, what uh, they can expect to learn from the course, and what problem it's going to solve, all of that. And also, I have my lead magnet quiz. So people can uh, answer a few questions and sign up. I have completed all of that at this point. And now I go into the implementation mode. I stop creating content. I go into the implementation mode. So now I use DAP to create and deliver my online courses, right? DAP is a membership plugin, but comes with a built-in LMS. So I do all my courses in DAP. 
when you use DAP for your courses, you can create your lessons in WordPress. You can use whatever page builder you like to build your lessons and just include that lesson, make it part of your course in DAP. So in this phase, what I do is I create a product for my course in DAP. Everything is a product in DAP. So an online course is also a product in DAP. So I create a product in DAP for my course and just the regular product set up in DAP. I just follow the steps to create my course in DAP. So when I create my course in DAP, I fill out all the other details, but the place where you need to add content to your course, the lessons and the modules, I don't do that part yet. That's because I have not yet started creating any lessons yet. I have the videos, but I have not yet started creating the actual lessons. So I create the product. I don't yet add any content. So once my product in DAP is ready, next step is I create three short codes. And you just have to do this once for every course. You don't have to keep changing it because it's going to be the same for all of the lessons in that course. So you just have to do this once for your course. So I go ahead and create my course outline progress bar and mark as complete short codes. And when I create these short codes, I don't worry about customization and all that. I just use the default options. And my main goal is to set things up and then you can always mess with it later. You can always customize it later. All right, so once I have created my short codes, the next step, I create a table of content page. The table of content page is just a simple WordPress page where I insert my course outline short code. The one that I created earlier, I just insert it here. So the course outline page is the page to which I send users when they log in to the course. So when they log in to try and access the course, this is the page to which I send the users. So the next step is to create the lesson content. I use my page builder plugin. I use Thrive Architect as my page builder. You can use whatever page builder you are comfortable with. Uh, that's fine. So I pick a Thrive Architect template to create my lesson content. And then I create and customize my lesson pages. In fact, I have made my lesson template available, the templates that you see in this course. You can download my template and you can use my template. It's really simple format. I have video at the top. I have my course outline and progress bar, uh, short quotes on that page. I have my content and just a mark as complete button. So if you like the template, you're welcome to download and use my templates and it will save you time. And obviously you can only use it if you also use Thrive Architect as your page builder. So I add the introduction video to the introduction lesson. And once I have updated all the content, I have inserted all the short codes and I have created a layout that I'm comfortable with, that I like. Then what I do is I go back to the course in the DAP backend to the DAP products page and make this introduction lesson part of the course. Because when I create my course, when I create my product, I don't have any content yet. But as I start creating content in WordPress, I go back to DAP products page and uh, I make the content part of the product in DAP. Then what I do is I clone my lesson number one. Once I am happy with the format of uh, one of the lessons, I want all the lessons to look the same, have the same format. So I just make a clone of it using my page builder again. And you can do it with whatever page builder uh, plugin you use. So now at this point, Implementation is pretty much complete. I just have to continue to add more lessons. Then I integrate this course in DAP with my quiz funnel because the opt-in form that I have on my opt-in page, I want to connect it to my product in DAP, my course in DAP. So when people sign up, they get access to the course in DAP. So I just do all of that first so that now I can focus on creating my content because once this whole thing is set up, now I can focus on creating the rest of the content without worrying about the tech or the implementation details. So now it's time to test user experience. So I create a test account. I give a test user access to the course and app. I log in as that test user and see if I got sent to the table of content page. If everything is working right, I should get sent to the table of content page. Then I click on lesson number one, see how it looks. And if all looks good, I click on the mark is complete button. It should send me to lesson number two. And if that looks good, then I know everything is working right implementation wise. So next, I just have to continue adding content and keep adding it to the course in DAP. So once I complete about two modules, it has about six to eight lessons, I launch the course. And I let the users know that a new lesson will be available once every three days or so, but they can access all the lessons that are currently available. So in this phase, I promote my course on social and let people know that they can sign up and get access to the course I let users know in my Facebook group about the course and how they can sign up and get access. And uh, I email my list to let them know that they can get access, uh, early access to the course by joining the list. And uh, 
I run Facebook ads. So I do all kinds of things to promote the course, to bring traffic uh, to the site. And the other thing I do is I use my plugin called Show Sales Proof. What this allows me to do is show real-time notification of sales and opt-ins. So for a free course where I have a lot of people signing up, it really helps build momentum. So other people are seeing proof uh, that others are signing up and uh, it definitely motivates them and increases the chances of them signing up because they are seeing proof of so many other people signing up. So this is definitely something you should also add uh, to your to-do list for your course launch. This is something that is really helpful. You would have noticed this on several other sites as well. Uh, where you will notice that there is a real-time notification of sales and opt-ins. And when you see other people are signing up, you see that the site is busy, the site is active, uh, it will just increase the chances of you uh, signing up for that course, right? Because you're seeing social proof. So social proof is a great motivator. It will definitely help you with your conversion rate. So that is something I do for my courses. I have a plugin called Show Sales Proof, really lightweight, a very powerful plugin, and it's really easy to use and set up. So I use that. Uh, on my site to display proof of uh, opt-ins. I also use it to display testimonials. So as people are opting in, they are taking the course towards the end of each big module. I have this, please let me know what you think about this course. Are you liking this course so far? So I have a little button that lets them leave me a quick review. And for that, I use a plugin called Thrive Ovation, which is a testimonials plugin. So they are able to leave me a quick review. And as I get those uh, testimonials, uh, then what I do is I use that also and I use my show sales proof uh, to display testimonials as well. So all of this really helps build momentum towards the final big launch. At this point, my course content is not even fully ready, but I'm excited, I'm motivated about creating content because I'm seeing activity, I'm seeing uh, so many people are actually benefiting from the course already, I'm getting feedback, so it gives you so much more energy uh, to go ahead and complete the course and do a big launch at the end. And this is just for a free course. So now you have a ready-made audience. You have people that trust you. You have people that you have built a relationship with uh, through your free course. So now it's going to be so much easier because not only are you clear about the steps, you have already done it for your free course, creating a paid course. Uh, as far as the tech, it's pretty much the same thing, right? You already have a ready-made audience and they trust you because they have enjoyed your free course. So now when you sell them the paid course or you upsell them the paid course, at the end of the free course, there is a good chance that they will take you up on that offer. So in this video, I showed you how I launched my course. And if you want more details in terms of how to set up a quiz and how to build a lead magnet quiz funnel, how to create a course and app, how to set up the lessons in WordPress, all of it, everything that I showed you uh, in more detail and also how to set up social proof. I have covered all of this in great detail in my course, Let's Build an Online Course. So if you have not signed up for it yet, be sure to sign up, watch all the lessons uh, in that course and everything that you need to know, I have covered it in that course. Or if you don't have the time to go through an entire course, you just need quick help to set up your free course, set up everything that I showed you uh, in this video, then the other option is to sign up for DAP Elite Membership where it comes with three hours of uh, setup help from us where we can spend the time, where we can help you set up your course and we can help you implement everything all right. So I hope this was helpful. I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.